Right, um, data released over the European session. Uh, what's caught your attention this morning? Uh, a little bit thin again on the calendar today, but I uh, picked out three items that uh, are probably worth mentioning. First of all, uh, Eurozone GDP for Q1. This is the second read, so if, if you want the, the, the real look at um, at the numbers as opposed to the flash preliminary read. Um, so it came in at 0.4% um, or growth, I should say, um, versus the forecast of 0.4%. And lo and behold, dead in line with the flash reading right. of 0.4%. Plus, um, these things are always subject to revision, but I guess, you know, it's modest growth across the Eurozone as a whole. Um, no, re not a clear sign yet, I think, that, that, uh, that QE is working, but at least it's a positive number rather than a negative one. Speaking of negative numbers, we the next item, uh, Swiss CPI or Swiss Consumer Price Index, the inflation numbers, if you will, in Switzerland for May. We looked at the year-on-year -year measure, uh, down 1.2% over May 2014. That's actually in line with the forecast of negative 1.2% and the prior read of minus 1.1%. But what it tells us is that deflationary pressures are still uh, up in, yep. in Switzerland. And then uh, for our own economy here in the UK, the balance of trade, so the net differential between exports and imports came in at just over uh, minus eight and a half billion pounds. That was better than the forecast, minus 9.9 .9 billion pounds, and a big improvement on the prior month, i.e. March, of minus 10.7 billion pounds. So it could, re could read into that that the economy is gradually coming back into balance, although it's fair to say that we generally do have uh, a deficit here because we are really a net importer of so many things yep. these days. Understood.